Welcome back to another Protector.net Action Control Engine Tutorial. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to set up a guard tour in Protector.net using the Action Control Engine. The premise of a guard tour is that a guard needs to check in via a card reader at specific locations within a specific period of time. If the guard doesn't show up to the next reader on time, someone should be alerted via SMS or text or trigger the alarm system. So let's say I hired a guard to patrol my facility at night. The warehouse and the data center are on the opposite ends of the building. So as per my contract with my guard, at the beginning of his shift, he will present his card at the warehouse reader and have 10 minutes to present the card to the data center reader. After that, he will have another 10 minutes to make it back to the warehouse reader. If he doesn't finish his rounds or does not make it in time, I'll have to do something such as trigger an alarm, email, or text somebody. I'll start with making the action plan. From the home page, select Action Plans from the System section. Click Add. Name the action plan. Make sure Trigger is the plan type. Click Create. On the Action Plan tab, we'll start with a log action. This will log the guard tour has started and the first name and last name of the guard. You'll see me utilize trigger variables here to log the name of the guard. Next, I'll expand the trigger section on the right. These are special actions that allow you to wait for something to happen and do something if the condition is met, not met, or regardless. We'll drag over a wait for reader action into the always condition of our log action. We'll select the data center since it's the reader the guard will need to read at after triggering the action plan for the warehouse reader. We'll select the guard so only his card can meet the conditions of the wait for action. We'll leave the state as any, but could specify if needed. The wait for is how long he has to read at the data center before the action falls into the fail condition. For our example, I'll select 10 seconds. Allow drift can be used to allow notifications such as access granted to trigger the success condition if the notification comes in later than expected. We'll click OK. Now we'll drag over a log action into the fail condition and success conditions so we can see which one happens. We'll make the log action in the fail condition an error so it'll show up in red for us. Now we can drag in another wait for trigger into the success condition. This time the guard will have 10 seconds to run back to the warehouse door. We'll add some logging just like the last wait for action. We'll click save on this action plan and move on to making the trigger. From the home page, we'll select Action Triggers in the System section. Click Add. Select Reader as the condition type. We'll leave the state as any. Select the reader we want the guard tour to start at, in this case the warehouse reader. We'll select our guard from the user list. In time restrictions, it would be a good idea to restrict when this trigger can take place. Ideally, it would only happen during the shift of the guard. For our example, we'll leave it blank. Finally, we'll select our action plan from the action plan drop-down menu. Click Save. Now we can start our guard tour. I'll present the guard card to the warehouse. You can see on the side here the action plan is started. Next, I'll quickly present the guard card to the data center. You can see our log message in the success condition now. Now, we'll wait 10 seconds and see what happens. As you can see, the wait for trigger timed out and the field condition chain was executed. As you can see, we can easily make guard tours with ACE and customize them to our needs. We can even utilize other actions to make the reader beep, warn the guard, trigger relays, alarms, and much more. That's all for this video. Check out our other videos with examples of more advanced action plans. For more information, please visit hartman-controls.com.